Well, first trip in for my fall bear tag, 2022 here in Utah. Going in, me and a buddy went in, set the tree stand up about a week ago. Two days ago was the first day that you could legally start baiting. So I'm just barely getting in to set my bait. Um, pretty excited. We ran this bait site last year with my old man's tag and we had four or five different bears coming in. A couple decent ones, nothing giant, but I'd be happy with either one, especially with my bow. I'm gonna try to get it done with my bow out of the tree stand. So just got a few buckets of goodies here. Um, it's gonna go in do a honey burn. I'll take a little video of that and show you what, what I do. I got some ideas off YouTube and for, from some other people that have hunted bears. So pretty excited. Hopefully we can get something coming in. Legally can't run a trail cam on the bear site this year, which is kind of frustrating just because that had helped me a lot knowing what kind of quality of bears we're getting in. But like I said, I'm not going to be crazy picky. Just want to kill a decent boar if possible. So here we go. So that's what it should look like. That's the smoke you're wanting to see go out. And that stuff's gonna go up into every tree, all the surrounding trees, and that scent's gonna stick. And these bears, man, they can smell like crazy. So I know this works, we did it last year. I'm just gonna let that go. Eventually it'll turn black because the honey will be gone in the bottom and that's when you kind of shut, shut it down. You don't wanna send out that burnt smell too much. But as long as you're rolling white smoke and the wind's been changing while I've been in here, which is awesome. So it's kind of blowing it to everything in the area, which is great. Okay, real quick, I just got done doing my honey burn in here. There's the muddy tree stand. Here's all my equipment that I carried in with me. And then over here, we got the pile of bait and I got a full bucket worth of kitchen grease on there. It stinks so bad, I gotta get out of here. I'm gonna throw up. But anyways, got a bunch of food under the log pile. It's roughly a 20 yard shot from there. So let's just hope we can get a decent board to come in and then hopefully I can execute the shot. But it's gonna be fun hunt. All right, it's our third trip into this bear bait site. And uh, we're two days away from opening day for bear hunting here in Utah. So we're gonna haul in another load of bait and feed it up. Hopefully it brings us some luck come Saturday morning. So here we go. All right, Carter Co and I are headed into the bait. It's go time, opening morning. We're going in right now. Hopefully we can get lucky. Let's do this. All right, I'm just about to hike down into my tree stand for the third time. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon. I'm hoping that I can get lucky tonight. This is my first afternoon slash evening sit. So it's about two o'clock, just starting to rain. I don't know where that's coming from, but I'm gonna head down in here, put some bait down and sit at the stand, see if I can get lucky tonight. Let's go. Just got into the bait pile this morning and it is wrecked. And they have leveled it. It's going to be good. We're going to bait it up real quick. Carter Coat bailing out of here. I'm getting up in the tree and we're hoping for a bear. But man, they have wrecked this place. Holy crap. I think we might have more than one bear now. Sweet. All right. We're headed down into the bear bait. My oldest brother and I sat it yesterday for 14 hours. Zero bears. So it was untouched when we left last night about 8.30 p.m. It is almost 6 a.m. today, the next morning. We're gonna go see if they've hit it. We're kind of hoping they haven't because that might mean they're more likely to come in today. So fingers crossed we can get into some action finally. Let's go. We got the dogs out today. Yeah, you can tell they're working already. Working on picking up scent. Should be fun. It's already hot though. All right, butcher's dogs hit on something. They've got a bear track walking up this road. They think it's pretty good. So we're about to dump dogs here in a minute. Things are about to heat up. Intensity levels raised. I'm getting anxious. Old Dial, he don't know what to think. He's just here putting in work. Let's go. There they go. There they go. Look at that. <laughs> All right, little update. We dumped the dogs a while ago. It appears that there's a pack of dogs that have a bear treed right now. And another group of dogs 
running a second bear currently. So we have an active chase going on and we have a bear tree. So we're hiking to the tree bear. We're gonna go see what it is, see if it's a, a shooter boar and get that figured out and then find out what happens with the other chase that's going on. So lots of action going on right now. Pretty crazy. Well, Dow's leading us in. Go see what we got. Okay, we're getting close. Dogs are going off right here. We got the posse coming in. We're gonna go see what we have. We can hear the dogs real good, so we'll go see. Let's do this. He kind of stood up, didn't he? So I mentioned on our way in here that we had the dogs split kind of in half and treat two different bears. We got to this first bear. He's up in a really tough tree to see anything. He's super thick, gnarly, but he's an average boar. He's a decent boar, not a giant, but one that's really hard to pass. It's a tough decision. So we're kind of hanging tight, waiting to hear if our buddies have treed uh, to get to the dogs that treed the other one. See what they can figure out. Uh, if, there's, if they've got the big boar that we tracked on the road, we'll work our way back over to them. But not a bad bear here. Just a tough decision right here. Thick, thick tree. So we'll see what we, we'll, we'll, we'll make a decision. Keep you posted. All right, we just made a really tough decision. We passed on that boar. He was a good boar, not a giant. The problem was is the dogs split and treat two different bears. So we went to this one first. And our other buddies got up to the other tree with the other bear in it, and they think it's a, I mean, it's just hard to say. They're both bears, pretty decent bears. They think this one's probably a little bigger. They also 100% think it's a boar. So we made the decision to pull off of this bear, and now we're headed up to the second bear. It's getting hot, hot as crap, man, for this time of year. So we're hurrying, gonna get up there, get the dogs relieved, and possibly shoot this bear so we'll uh we'll get you back on when we get there okay we're headed in we just parked got the machines parked back here headed into bear number two believe this bear's a shooter we're probably gonna let some arrows fly let's go see what we got let's go okay we're getting in here oh boy we just about went for a free ride right there that'll make good video we're getting close. This bear's getting antsy. I need to go put an arrow in it. A long ways up. We'll go see if we can get in position. We got a shooter up here. Good sized bear. Good shot opportunity here. Other than the ground's 90% grade and the slipping out from under me. Wait, hold on, let down. I can't, bro. Okay. You ready? I Get these, get 
get the meat in the cooler until we get it taken care of. And good deal. So put a lot of time and effort into my bait setup, into my tree stand. Really tried to make it happen there and uh, didn't work out. Ended up having our good buddy from work who owns dogs say he was available to go today. So we went and ran this morning and his dogs ended up getting split up and treeing two different bears. So today we got to look at two more bears than I've looked at in over 60 hours just sitting in that tree stand so far. So I can't complain. I'm grateful to be able to harvest a bear. Awesome opportunity with some good buddies. So pretty excited about it. Oh, 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 o